Another potential grip exchange you might face while attempting to set up the protoguard is incorporating a sleeve grip on his free hand. So if I manage to open up his lapel and I get my initial grip here, like this, I want to get to my protoguard grips, which we haven't even fully gone into yet, but you do know that the first grip switch I need is this overhand grip as I fall to my right or towards the side of the initial grip. However, it is not always the case that you will be able to do that instantly. Sometimes you have to play this sit up position a little bit longer and deal with some of the other attacks or defenses he might throw at you to deal with this grip in this situation. So if he starts reaching for me with his hand or doing anything with this hand, sleeve control is a very powerful thing with this grip here. And the reason for that is if he's putting a grip on me, that's great, but it's probably serving a purpose for him. But if I can secure a grip on this wrist as well, if he starts trying to put pressure into me in any way, here, off balancing to this direction becomes much more powerful just because I have a sleeve grip. So at any time that he starts to put knee cut pressure, if I have this sleeve grip, I can easily bounce my right knee into his butt here to create off balances and potentially help me sit up and then even transition to my second grip and then engage into what will soon become the proto guard. And now this can be done offensively or defensively. If I'm here and I get the sleeve control, even if he doesn't grab my collar, if his hand is just back there, I can get sleeve control and immediately initiate off balances by using my right foot on the inside of his thigh to off balance and start tilting people and make them deal with my pressure and then use that to get to a kneeling position and potentially start transitioning into the guard. All right, so the intention of that is just to show you that this is the, the start of the position. You can't just go directly into proto guard. It's not like the lapel systems where the second you get the lapel, you can transition into all these different guards, but there's a slight buffering period where you have to fight for these grips. But once you secure them and once we actually get into the full position, a lot opens up. And that's where we're gonna, the focus of this guard is gonna be on is that the opening up the opportunities that present themselves once we get our two secure grips. However, I have to lay down a foundation so you understand what to do to actually secure these grips and not put yourself in vulnerable positions while attempting to get to protoguard. All right?